Hi guys, so for today's discussion, we have minisum location problem. Now, going back to the concepts of minisum location, so we are given the coordinate system for X and Y for the location of our machines or facilities, and we want to minimize the number of distances traveled between the interaction of these machines. Now, the number of trips is given as the weight or usually the frequency of trips that these machines or these facilities interact with each other. Now, for our example, four machines are located at 5, 2, 4, 8, 13, 6, and 5, 4. These machines will be allocated in a repair center for 7, 8, 10, and 12 times per week respectively. We want to determine the location of the repair center that will minimize the distance traveled. So for our solution, uh, let's write the given information. So we have four machines. And these are located in 5, 2, 4, 8, 13, 6, and 5, 4. And given then yung number of trips or the frequency that these machines will be going to the repair center, which is 7, 8, 10, and 12. So this will represent the weight So here are the given information in summary. Now we want to determine the location of the repair center again to minimize the distance traveled. Now step one, so for the X coordinate, we want to order the number of machines in ascending order for its X coordinate value. Okay, so for solving the value of the X coordinate of the new location, so, sulat lang natin yung tabulated solution. So, we have the machine, the A sub I, which represents the X coordinate of the existing facility, its corresponding weight, and the cumulative weight. Now, as I mentioned before, we are going to order the machines in ascending order based on the X coordinate values. Now, looking at 5, and see 5, then we have 4, 13, and 5. So, mauuna si machine 2. 4 yung coordinate value niya. And then, ang weight is 8. Followed by, yung next na number is 5. However, may tie between machine 1 and machine 4. So, in this case, para ma-break yung tie, we are going to choose arbitrarily. Pero, we are going to... Um, choose the machine na unang minention, which is machine 1 and then followed by machine 4. So, si 1 muna, then 5, and then 7 for the weight, followed by machine 4, and then ang weight is 12. And lastly, we have machine 3, and ang kanyang coordinate is 13, and ang weight is 10. Now, next step is to find the cumulative value of the weights. So, we have 8 plus 7 is 15 plus 12 is 27 and plus 10, we have 37. Now, by median method, so this uh, method is called median method. So, kukuha ni natin yung total value of your weights or equivalent to sa 37. So, that's then divide by 2. So, magiging 37 divide by 2, which is 18.5. Okay. So, 
paano malaman yung value ng new facility or the location of the new facility. So, the cumulative weight that immediately exceeds or equates the value of your 18.5 is your location. So, looking at 8, 15, 27, and 37. So, si 27 immediately exceeds 18.5 which gives you the idea that your location is at 5. So, yung ating x-coordinate value of the new location is at 5. Now, going to uh, the value naman of... Now, for the value of y, so, same procedure ang gagawin natin. So, write yung machine uh, number and then yung y-coordinate value represented by v sub i. And then your weight and the sum of the weights. Again, same with x, we're going to write the number of machines according to the ascending order of its y coordinate value naman. So looking at 2, 8, 6, and 4, so mo una si machine 1 with a y coordinate value of 2 and a weight is 7. Followed by machine 4. And then, ang coordinate value is 4 with a weight of 12. Next will be machine 3. Na 6 yung, X, uh, yung Y value. And then, your weight is 10. And then, lastly, we have machine 2 with a Y coordinate value of 8. And then, yung weight niya is also 8. So, again, the following step will be the cumulative value of the weights, which is 7. Plus 12 is 19. Then we have 29. And then same na 37. So again, yung summation ng y w sub i over 2 is 37 over 2 which is 18.5. And again, scanning at the values of your cumulative weights, the one that immediately exceeds or equates 18.5 that means the location of your new facility so looking at 7 19 29 and 37 so 19 exceeds 18.5 which gives you the value of your y which is 4 so therefore the location of your facility is a base on sa kaninang value natin which is 5 so we have 5 and 